Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem one dash seven. So statement is cable will fail when subjected to a tension of two kilonewton. This is the cable here. The tension is two kilonewton. Clear. Determine the largest vertical load P the frame will support and calculate the internal normal force, shear force, and moment and at cross section through point C for this loading. So here you have to find the largest force that can be applied at this point and internal loading at point C. So we will start it for first by finding the reaction supports uh, reaction forces at point A. So support reaction we will find support reaction reaction first for finding support reactions you have to draw the free wire diagram I will just uh, mention the force that will act when you remove this support so if you remove this support so there will be a normal force clear at point A as well as there is a horizontal uh, force again in this rope the tension T is also available that is given as 2 kilo Newton. So we will find this largest force and the reaction supports as well. So for that we will apply the equilibrium condition. The first equilibrium condition is that we will find the uh, moment about point A is equal to sum of all moment about point A is equal to 0 and that will give the value of maximum P that can be applied. So let's start. Sum of all moment about point A is equal to 0 and taking counterclockwise is positive. So you can see the force that is producing moment about point A is P and this P is P into perpendicular distance is this one. 0 0.75 plus this plus this and that will give you 2.25. Now you can see that this force is producing counterclockwise moment so this will be positive. The second force that is producing moment is T. So T into perpendicular distance is this one perpendicular distance is this one or from this point to this point so here this is given as 0 0.5 and the radius of pulley is 0 0.5 so this distance is 0 0.1 so total distance is 0 0.6 so perpendicular distance t into 0 0.6 is equal to 0 so as this is producing clockwise so that will be negative clear now you have the value of P is equal to 2.25 minus T is given as 2 kilo Newton. So 2 into 0 0.6 is equal to 0. From here you can get the value of largest vertical load P that can be applied and that is equal to 0 0.53 kilo Newton. Now we will move further in order to find the reaction force clear. So for that we applied sum of all force along x direction is equal to 0 and in this direction it is positive. So you can see that the two forces that is acting horizontally one is this Ax and other is this Ay clear. So Ax and T these are the horizontal force that are acting. So Ax is negative because it is in uh, negative direction and T is positive and the value of T is 2 kilo Newton. So from here we get AX is equal to 2 kilo Newton. Clear? The second equilibrium condition is sum of all forces along Y direction and this is used for finding this vertical force. So one vertical force is AAY that is acting upward. The second vertical force is P that is acting downward. And this P is 0 0.53. So their sum must be equal to 0. So AY will be equal to 0 0.53 kilo Newton. So we up till now we have find out the largest vertical load and the reaction forces at point A. Now we will move to find the internal loading at point C. For internal loading at point C, we will draw the free wire, 
free body diagram of this portion AC. So at A we have vertical force and horizontal force and at point C there will be a shear force there will be a normal force and there will be a movement let this point is this point is point c this is point a this was ax this is ay this is vc shear force this is nc and there will be a movement reaction movement which is equal to mc clear the distance is also mentioned over here this is 0.75 meter now you can easily apply the equilibrium condition in order to find the internal loading such as shear force normal force and movement so i will start from sum of all forces along x direction is equal to zero and this direction it is positive so two forces ax and nc are acting clear so minus nc minus ax and ax is equal to two kilonewton so minus is equal to 0 so it means that nc is equal to minus 2 kilo newton already we have assumed in this direction nc is negative and this is also negative so it means that nc should be positive and our assumed direction is wrong and we have to take nc in this positive direction now we will move toward finding the vertical forces uh, shear force for that we reply this equation of equilibrium so two forces one is vc that is acting downward that will be negative and ay which is equal to 0 0.53 plus 0 0.53 their sum must be equal to 0 so it means that uh, vc is acting uh, downward okay so vc is equal to 0 0.53 kilo newton so vc is 0 0.53 kilo newton and it is acting downward clear okay now this this is a positive value clear and again here you have mentioned vc is downward so it means that this direction of shear force is okay now we will find the movement for that sum of all movement about point c is equal to zero and counterclockwise is positive so at point c there is external movement a reaction movement mc that is clockwise so minus mc and due to this loading ay into perpendicular distance 0 0.7 and it is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive so ay is 0 0.53 and perpendicular distance is 0 0.75 their sum must be equal to 0 when you calculate this this mc comes out to be 0 0.40 kilo newton into meter so these are the internal loading this is normal force this is shear force and this is movement at uh, uh, movement at uh, at point c these are the internal loading at point c i hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching